Celine, she went to Gucci. I ride with some harness on me, I got the blue cheek. Pull up in a Jeep, I put it on for a G. I want your body, give me this laptop on the front seat. We gon' fuck for an hour, then we need like. You don't have to put yourself all the way out there. Like, you can just be seductive and subtle. But I let them know with my eyes. Like, when you, like, if you're in a relationship with a man or if you're in a marriage, a long-term relationship, a man has to know how to read you with your eyes. Like, so when you look at him directly in his eyes and it's the energy, right? Like, you got to have it. You got to be thinking in your mind, like, listen, I'm about to fuck you right now. I want to tell you up. The energy don't lie. You don't have to say nothing. When he look in your eyes, he's going to know because the energy is going to tell him. You get what I'm saying? It's kind of like this, right? Have you ever been to a store, male or female? And you can tell it's kind of like, this person's a creep. Or this person wants me. Or what's wrong with this person? It's because you're reading that person's energy. It's kind of like when you walk in a room, it's a dark, a dark, a dark cloud in the room. Or you might walk in a room, it's the, it's the vibes out there because the energy don't lie. It's just a lot of adults don't actually lean on the energy. Listen, I put it on my man with my energy. This energy right here, yes, I use it to my advantage. Like I let them know it's yours. I want it now. And I always have that same type of energy. It's a welcome energy. It's it's kind of like it's yours. If you own it, you know what I mean? You possess this shit. Like you taking care of business and you got me so wide open what happens is a man fall into leadership it's kind of like you giving him you giving him yourself that that right there is an amazing experience for a man and then, and when a man think back he's going to feel it because it's an energy it's kind of like how women when we have our first child we don't ever forget those moments we don't ever forget that feeling it's kind of like if a man proposed to you or the first time you had sex. You don't ever forget that. That's how it is with a man. You want to put it on his brain and he's going to keep that energy with him. That's why when you hear men talk about the best experience they had sexually, the energy. They're always talking about the, the tension in the bedroom of what took place before, you know, what went down. So you want to put it on his psyche. I want to put it on your motherfucking psyche. I ain't trying to play with you. I'm trying to leave something on your motherfucking brain. Point blank, period. You know what I mean? And then, you know, I make it a little spicy. You know, if he tell me, you know, like my man told me something, he was like, nah, we ain't about to do this. I'm like, please, please, baby, please, daddy, please give it to me, baby. Please do it for me. And he just went ahead and did it. You know what I mean? <laughs> you know, you just got to know. You got to know how to seduce your man in a way that you ain't coming off thirsty. You coming more so off like it's his. You own it. Like, I need you. I desire you. You like the air I breathe. And that energy is so motherfucking passionate and sexy. You know what I mean? For a lot of people. It, this information is going to go over their head. You know what I mean? For a lot of women, men, this type of information, it's going to go over their head because they never had it. They never experienced it. So they hear stuff like this and think that it's make-believe because they're so used to physical. They, they don't understand the energy. This type of information, like, you got to really search for this type of information. It's, it's the energy. Once you begin to understand that, because what happened is, energy transfer energy never dies so it's kind of like this right let me break this down real quick it's kind of like a woman has a certain energy for a certain man in her life she's gonna always have that energy there it's gonna always be there even if she moves on 10 20 years later she's gonna always have that same energy because you a type of man you possess a certain type of energy that when women are around you they throw they self at you and when she's in your presence and she has you know witnessed the energy that you possess she never that energy never dies because a lot of men they are very so much um physical they're not mental and that goes over a lot of men heads they don't really understand the yin and yang 
get what I'm saying? Now, what if you run across a, a, a chick like me that understand the energy and you understand the energy? The sex going to be fucking wow. Our relationship is going to be bananas because you understand the energy. You actually understand the yin and yang and you respect that. And I respect the energy. It, it's kind of like a respect factor. But for people to actually understand that, they got, they must have to understand themselves and they must respect the opposite sex a lot of people don't respect the opposite sex it's just like me i respect men and men they respect me they respect the energy that i bring and i respect their energy you get what i'm saying you gotta have some type of respect the reason why is because uh, the reason why a lot of people don't understand the energy because they don't respect the opposite sex they don't um, they don't respect the yin and yang yin and yang is divine masculine energy and divine femininity and when it intertwines it, it explodes and that shit is very mental you gotta understand that shit so you are you the type of man that understand the energy and i'm the type of woman that understand the energy and it's nothing but respect that what you think gonna happen when we in the bedroom what you think because i get it and he gets it it's mental and when you respect the opposite sex, I'm not saying like there are certain people you, you know what I mean? Just certain people you don't fuck with. I get it. But I'm talking about like alone, you respect the waters, you respect the trees, you respect animals, you respect um, lights, water, you respect the things that, that are around you because everything is energy. Everything is energy. And when you walk into a room, you can actually feel the energy in a room. Uh, some things vibrate on a certain frequency level that is why you might be drinking out of cup you might get headaches from drinking out of cup like this is a lot of information Let, let's just move on because a lot of people won't understand this shit but but i'm saying once you begin to understand the energy when you begin to respect the cars the the the, the, the stars the moon the air when you begin to respect your body and what you eat and what you put inside your body and who you lay with and who you entertain the things that you listen to when you begin to understand those things you understand everything is the energy so when you're dealing with people the certain people that you lay with you understand whether you're going to have amazing sex or you're not going to have amazing sex because the energy is not going to lie to you and you'll be you'll be able to read just like your children right let me break this down for y'all it's kind of like a baby a baby don't a baby a, it's certain people that a baby will take to and certain people a baby won't take to there's a reason why babies cry with certain people yes more so that a baby is starting to get familiar with people that's around them but babies are pure right so when a when a baby is picking up a a, a low vibrant frequency it's gonna cry but when a baby is around you know more of a nurturer whether male or female a baby is settled because the energy don't lie masculine energy divine masculine energy and divine feminine energy is comfort it's peace it's love um it's light it's it's embracing it's all of that and above so babies can actually tell what's a lower um frequency but the older you get we lose that because we exchange those things for things of this world we exchange it for work we exchange it for sex we exchange it for the pleasures of the world whether it's your cell phone that's why it's very important for you to meditate and pray that's why it's very important for you to fast you must put yourself to the test you must put yourself to the test when it comes to things that makes you weak whether it's food whether it's money whether it's the people that you're around whether it's your device you know whether it's you planning your pussy you know jacking your dick you must put your body you must put yourself to the test you must fast this is, this is something you must do. And then you will begin to build your energy. You will begin to understand it. So when you are around people, when you are talking to a certain person, you can peep game. You can sense people out. It becomes very easy to you. You get what I'm saying?